And today we are going to go through a 20 minute routine on building the control with the pelvic floor. So this is a routine that you can do every day. Um, I suggest you do it for a couple of weeks until you've gotten into the rhythm and you start to really feel that that connection between the brain and the pelvic floor is becoming more enhanced and you start to feel that you're getting a little bit more control over the different parts of your pelvic floor. So to start, you need to find a comfortable seat. You have the option of sitting cross-legged as I'm sitting now, or you can sit with your knees across a bolster. You have the option of sitting on a chair, or maybe you want to sit cross-legged on your bed. Find a position that allows you to sit with a nice tall spine, that allows you to relax your body, so let's now start. Once you've found your comfortable seat, you're going to take a moment just to close your eyes. Allow everything to be soft in your body. Allow your hips to relax. Allow your shoulders to relax. Bring your focus all the way from the top of your head and scan down through your body and feel the relaxation moving through your body. Let your belly hang. Allow your body to be heavy on your sitting bones. So you're not trying to lift yourself, you're trying to be completely relaxed. Notice if you feel tension anywhere and send relaxation to wherever you feel the tension. Notice your breath. Notice if it's deep or if it's shallow and just allow the breath to be natural. Allow the breath to be soft. If you feel like you're holding the breath high up in your chest, allow your shoulders to relax and allow the breath to soften. You can lift your shoulders up towards your ears and let them relax down just to make sure that you're not holding tension there. So now that you are relaxed in your body, start to bring your awareness down to your pelvic floor. Stay calm and relaxed as you start to sense your pelvic floor. And then bring your focus to the pubic bone at the front. Bring your focus to the tailbone at the back. This is the coccyx bone. And then imagine that you're drawing the pubic bone at the front to the tailbone at the back. And with this motion of drawing these two areas towards each other, feel that you're lifting upwards and inwards. So feel that area, really try to sense the line of connection all the way from the pubic bone to the tailbone and try to sense the lift. And it's subtle, you don't have to do a strong lift, just feel that you're lifting and relaxing and then lift it and relax it one more time we lift it and relax and then bring your awareness to your sitting bones feel your sitting bones pressing into the floor the chair a little folded blanket whatever you're sitting on and try to sense the sitting bones and then once you have that sense of your sitting bones, try to draw the sitting bones towards each other. So feel the subtlety of that connection as you draw the left sitting bone towards the right sitting bone and you meet yourself in the middle. And as you're drawing the left to the right, you're lifting upwards and inwards. So you're drawing together and relaxing. So you draw together on the exhale and you relax on the inhale, drawing together on the exhale and relaxing on the inhale. And then let it relax. And then you're going to bring your awareness to your urethral sphincter at the front. And you're going to feel that you're closing the urethral sphincter. 
So the focus is on the sphincter and the little triangle of muscle that reaches from just in front of your sitting bones all the way up to the pubic bone. So you're going to sense that you're drawing that whole front little triangle upwards and inwards. And as you're drawing upwards, you're going to focus the center of contraction on the end of the pee pipe, so the urethra. So on the exhale, drawing upwards and inwards. On the inhale, relax. On the exhale, drawing upwards and inwards. On the inhale, relax. On the exhale, drawing upwards and inwards. On the inhale, relax. And then you're going to bring your attention to your anal sphincter at the back. And you're going to feel the anal sphincter with your mind. Just sense the sphincter. So feel that part of your body. Bring your awareness there. And then starting to draw, as you exhale, draw that upwards and inwards. And as you inhale, relax. So as you exhale, drawing upwards and inwards on your anal sphincter. As you inhale, relax. As you exhale, draw upwards and inwards. As you inhale, relax. And then releasing the anal sphincter, let it move away from your mind and bring your attention to your perineum, that little space between your anus and the vaginal opening if you're a woman or between the anus and the scrotum, the balls if you're a man. And you're going to draw that perineum upwards and inwards on the exhale and relax. So sense it with your mind. And as you exhale, you're going to draw upwards and inwards. And as you inhale, allow it to relax. So exhaling, drawing upwards and inwards and inhaling, allowing it to relax. Then let it be soft. Let your mind float away from the perineum. And then you're going to bring your awareness to the vaginal opening. So for women, you're going to sense the vaginal opening. Imagine that you can close that opening by drawing all the tissue around the opening together. And then as you exhale, you're going to draw upwards and inwards. If you're a guy, you're going to bring your awareness to your balls and you're going to try to lift them upwards and inwards. So for everybody, on the exhale, drawing upwards and inwards. On the inhale, allow it to relax. On the exhale, drawing upwards and inwards. On the inhale, allowing it to relax. On the exhale, drawing upwards and inwards. On the inhale, allow it to relax. And then just let the whole pelvic floor be soft. Allow the belly to be relaxed. Allow the backside to be relaxed, the spine. Just let everything be soft. And just take a nice deep inhale and a long, slow exhale. Just find your center as you breathe deeply. And then again, we bring our awareness to the pubic bone at the front. We sense the pubic bone, we bring our awareness to the tailbone at the back. And we draw these two spaces towards each other as we feel and sense between the back and the front. Feeling the sensation of bringing back to front, meeting in the middle, lifting upwards. We do the uplifting motion as we exhale. And as we inhale, we allow everything to relax. So do this again, exhaling as you draw everything upwards and inwards and inhaling as you allow everything to relax. Then bringing again your attention to your sitting bones, drawing the left sitting bone towards the right sitting bone as you exhale, drawing them together and lifting up. And as you inhale, allowing them to relax. As you exhale, drawing them towards each other and lifting up. As you inhale, allow them to relax. And then leave them relaxed, bringing your awareness to the urethral sphincter and that little urogenital diaphragm around the urethral sphincter. And 
as you exhale, draw upwards and inwards. Center the contraction around the opening. As you inhale, allow everything to relax. As you exhale, drawing upwards and inwards as though you're holding your pee. As you inhale, allowing everything to relax. And then allow the front to be completely relaxed and bringing your awareness around to your anal sphincter. Remember everything else in your body is relaxing. You're focusing only on these specific areas. So taking your awareness to your anal sphincter, you're going to draw the anal sphincter upwards and inwards. You're going to inhale as you allow it to relax. You're going to draw upwards and inwards as you exhale and as you inhale allow it to relax you're going to draw upwards and inwards as you exhale and as you inhale allow it to relax and then let that be soft so we're leaving the anal sphincter behind and we're moving now to the perineum so just taking a step forward to that space between your anal sphincter and your uh, genitals whether that be the vagina for a woman or the ball sack for a man and you're going to sense that area so really bring your awareness to that area and then as you exhale start to draw upwards and inwards as you inhale allow it to relax as you exhale drawing upwards and inwards as you inhale allow it to relax as you exhale, draw up and in. As you inhale, allow it to relax. And then let the perineum be soft, letting go, making sure that your body is still completely relaxed. You're not using any other muscles. You can take an inhale and an exhale. Just make sure that you remain focused, keep the stillness on the inside. And then again, bring your awareness all the way to the vaginal opening. If you're a man, you're going to bring the awareness to the balls. So whether you're grabbing your balls and lifting them up and in or grabbing all around the vagina, closing the vagina and trying to lift that up and in, really focus on bringing your awareness to just that specific place. Don't worry if other muscles participate, just try to keep the focus there. So as you exhale, drawing upwards and inwards, as you inhale, relax. As you exhale, drawing upwards and inwards. As you inhale, relax. As you exhale, draw up and in. And as you inhale, relax. And then let everything go in the pelvic floor. We're going to relax the body. We're going to take a little moment. Maybe you need to move your legs. If you feel that they're becoming a little bit numb, then just take a little break, pause the video for a moment and just give your legs a little bit of a shake. You can put them out in front of your body and give them a shake. Just take a little moment preparing to start again. So. Um, once you come back to finding your comfortable seat, making sure that you have a nice tall spine, making sure you're not collapsing in the low back, so staying nice and straight, and then start to relax again down into your body. We're going to build the kegel now all the way from the ground up. So we're going to take each of these individual parts and we're going to bring them together to create one solid kegel and solid don't be thinking it has to be really hard this is about control so it's about really focusing your mind to try to just grab on those individual parts of your pelvic floor it's about the subtlety of connection so try to reach down with your mind and create those subtle connections so Getting ready to begin, taking an inhale wherever you are and exhale, then inhaling and exhale. The eyes are closed, inhaling and the body is relaxed and exhale. Then you're going to bring your awareness to the coccyx at the back and the pubic bone at the front and you're going to draw that area together so a very subtle connection and keep that subtle connection so hold on to that connection as you bring your awareness to the sitting bones 
left and right and draw them towards each other. So going over, you have the connection, you're sensing front to back and you're feeling that connection front to back. A very gentle, very subtle hold. You're feeling the sitting bones left and right and you're very gently drawing those towards each other. So you're creating a little cross front to back and side to side, drawing everything together, gently lifting up, just feeling the sensation, nice and soft. And then you're gonna bring your awareness to the urethral opening, so to the external urethral sphincter. And you're going to feel the sensation of drawing that upwards and inwards. So very subtle, hold very gently. So just feel the sensation. So you're still remembering front to back. You feel that contraction. You're still remembering side to side. You're creating that cross-like motion. And you're holding now the little urethral sphincter at the front. So you have a little sense of your urogenital diaphragm. And you're going to bring your awareness to the back and you're going to feel the anal sphincter and you're going to gently lift the anal sphincter so remembering front to back you're feeling that sensation drawing front to back remembering side to side you're feeling the sensation of drawing from the left sitting bone to the right sitting bone lifting up then you're feeling the sensation of your external urethral sphincter you're feeling that you're closing that off and then you're feeling the sensation of closing the anal sphincter so you're starting to feel a sensation all the way around your pelvic floor then you're going to bring your attention to your perineum and you're going to gently lift the perineum so bringing your attention there but remembering you're still connecting front to back you're still connecting side to side you still have that gentle connection to the urethra at the front to the anal sphincter at the back and now you're bringing in the perineum so you're feeling all of these sensations you're feeling the awareness as you bring everything together and then you're going to take your awareness to the vaginal opening and feel that sensation of drawing it all together and lifting up or if you're a guy you're going to feel that you're lifting your balls up into your body so feel the sensation front to back feel the sensation side to side feel the sensation of the urethral sphincter of the anal sphincter feel the sensation of lifting the perineum closing the vaginal opening lifting upwards and inwards feel all of these sensations subtle don't grip just gently feel the sensation gently feel that up and lift just notice if you can hold them all together and relax so letting everything relax allow yourself to be soft allow yourself to be calm just take a moment if you haven't done these types of contractions before where you bring everything together subtly and you're not so focused on whether you're breathing in or out you're just focused on bringing your awareness to these different areas and it can be a little difficult when you start so give yourself some time just take a deep inhale take a deep exhale and we prepare to go again so for this next round, if you need to take a break, if your legs are a little tired after the last one, you can bring the legs out, give them a little shake. Take a moment and re-find your seat. Allow your eyes to close. Allow your mind to still. And start to bring your awareness back into the body. Bring the awareness back to the pelvic floor. And when the awareness comes back to the pelvic floor, you're going to start to sense the pubic bone at the front and the tailbone at the back and start to feel that sensation of drawing these two areas towards each other with a gentle lift. And then start to feel the sensation of your sitting bones. So drawing left to right. So feel that connection. So now you've created the cross. Feel the cross. Keep those tracks running in your mind. Front to back. Side to side. Feel the external urethral sphincter. So hold your pee. Feel that sensation. Subtle but soft. So you feel it. You're gently feeling it with your mind. You're gently lifting it up. Bring your awareness to the back. Feel the external urethral sphincter. So feel that you're holding that sphincter, that you're lifting it upwards and inwards. So still feeling front to back, still feeling side to side, creating that cross-like motion. Then lifting up at the front, lifting up at the back. So now you have created this nice cylinder of support. You're crossing 
be in the middle and then you're closing at the front, closing at the back and feel your perineum. So keep the sensation that you have in the other areas as you start to lift up on the perineum. And as you're lifting up on the perineum, keep the awareness front to back, side to side, closing the front opening, closing the back opening, lifting the perineum, and then bring your awareness to the vaginal opening or to the balls if you're a guy. And you're gonna feel that you're lifting that upwards and inwards. So feel the sensation from the pubic bone at the front to the tailbone at the back, from the sitting bones side to side. Feel the external urethral sphincter, feel the anal sphincter, lift up on the perineum, close the vaginal opening lift upwards and inwards feel it all at the same time sense the entire pelvic floor and relax so taking a nice long deep inhale and a long slow exhale and just allow yourself to blink the eyes open and you are finished your practice for today.